I was never really into e-bikes, really didn't really uh, think about it much until watching a kayak hacks fishing uh, YouTube channel, I'm a big kayak fisherman, uh, he decided to take an e-bike out for a spin to do some surf fishing with it. And I was like pretty impressed because it was one of the things I love to do as well is surf fish, don't have a four wheel drive. So what's a, an affordable way of getting out to remote places away from the kids, the beach traffic and all that, uh, where you don't have to go out and spend tens of thousands of dollars on a four wheel drive, what are your options? So that got me inspired to uh, eventually get an e-bike, uh, the one that he, he tested out and uh, pretty pleased with it so far. So this is my first surf fishing trip on the OneBot T6F foldable flat tire bike. Actually, my first surf fishing trip on an e-bike, period. Uh, it's about 10 miles from the campground. Controls are pretty easy to figure out, not much to it. The good thing about this e-bike this e is it's low budget, so you get what you pay for, meaning you don't have to watch your speed. You might be able to get 15 miles an hour max using the pedal assist function while pedaling, but that's about it. Now on the beach, it was really a breeze, but as you can see, it was on compact sand. So pretty easy to ride on. As I got further away from the public access landings, the fewer people I saw, which is awesome. Eventually found a spot and parked now here's a critical accessory you need to bring. Hat tip to kayak hacks fishing. A cutting board so you can uh, place that under the kickstand so your bike doesn't tip over. So I did some fishing. Only wound up catching a whiting. Something did chew off a piece of fish bites artificial shrimp bait which is like really impressive. That, usually it takes me pliers and a pair of scissors to pry that stuff off that hook. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, share your comments below.